ti nice titanium. I also like that they use titanium rather than iron or steel or anything like that. I like titanium. It's cool sounding metal. High capacity O2 tank. We just need another silver and then some glass. And I can make glass out of quartz. And we, we know where quartz is. So, yeah, that's doable. That's very doable. And I'll make the fins to get rid of some of this excess silicone rubber. Oh. Oh, oh. Yes, let's do that. The scanner can be used to synthesize blueprints from salvage technology and to record alien biological data. Weapons were removed from standard survival blueprints following the massacre on Abraxas Prime. The knife remains the only exception. Now here's some interesting lore for you. Ooh. Now it can take you a good while to find some crash fish powder, but or it used to be crash fish powder, but now it's cave sulfur or something. Life pod secondary systems online. Running full environment diagnostic and outputting results to databank. Sucks all the smoke out. And this is our quest system, more or less. Nice. Secondary systems online. Outgoing radio communications offline. Incoming radio communications online. Flotation devices deployed. Hull integrity okay. Environment. Uncharted ocean 4546B. Oxygen nitrogen atmosphere, which means we can breathe. Waterborne bacteria levels high. Now he's got us some tools. Fabricator draws from available data to provide environment appropriate equipment using locally available materials. For your safety, this setting cannot be overridden. Now we swim faster. Mighty convenient, especially until we get that sea glide. And now we got something to do with all that salt. Alright, I'm gonna get some glass or some quartz and then make some glass. And then we're going to see about getting us a bigger. Yeah, see, I tried to juke him, but I didn't have nearly as much time as I thought I did. That was the problem. I definitely should get back to some Dark Souls later, though. I, I do want to play more of that game. I love that game. And uh, an abandoned playthrough of it would be very, very sad. Get us some table coral samples. And make us a computer chip, because we'll probably need one. This is Aurora. Distress signal received. Rescue operation will be dispatched to your location in nine. 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 Hours. Continue to monitor for emergency transmissions from other life pods. Ah, crap, I need two glass, don't I? Bleach is an essential chemical used for cleaning wounds and purifying water. Mm hmm This is so much better than making bladder... than using bladder fish. Because salt is pretty common. And, you know, it only takes one to make a bleach, which makes two disinfected water. Which is different from filtered water because it's twice as much. It's 12 ounces instead of 6. Microorganism free. So rather than filtering the water, you put chemicals in it to clean it out. So, yeah. Look at that water, much bigger. These water ration ahead of time will help ensure against dehydration and eventual death. Let's do that self-scan, though. Self-scan complete. Vital signs normal. Detecting trace amounts of foreign bacteria. Continuing to monitor. Ooh. Interesting. 
4546B environment scan. Category 3 ocean planet. Oxygen, nitrogen, atmosphere. Extensive biodiversity. Oh, let me read that later. I'll read it up here. Safety warnings may support Leviathan class predators. May contaminate. Water contaminated with high levels of foreign bacteria. Planet is beyond Federation space. Rescue unlikely. It is not recommended to explore this environment without hazardous ma material suits and extensive support apparatus. Well, we don't really have any of that right now. Continued degradation of the Aurora's drive core may result in a quantum detonation. Continuing to monitor. Oh man. Analysis confirms this wreckage is from the Aurora. Outer layers of the material have oxidized, suggesting it has been heated to over 1,200 degrees Celsius. This pattern is consistent with hull disintegration during atmosphere re-entry, or atmospheric entry. Salvage of intact portions of all Terra vessels is prohibited at legal, moral, and technical levels. However, scraps as these may be reclaimed for their titanium content at any Altera fabricator. Grab trap fragment. I got this thing and then I never used it. I want to use it. I really do. I want to use it. So as soon as I get it, I'm going to build one and I'm going to use it to catch some fish. Sea glide fragment. Need to get all of these that we can. Only need two. Beacon fragment. Got to get all these things. Oh gosh, night is falling once again. We'll read all these once we get back to base. I do want to read the things, because, you know. Yes! That is going to be our next step. We got the sea glide. Awesome. Uh, the recording messed up, so I didn't get to show the process of me building it, but it was just stuff I already had. Go under deployables, and we just needed a battery, lubricant, the copper wire, and titanium, which was all stuff I really already had. So, you didn't miss much. But, uh, yeah, now that we got this, we can go much, much further. Let's, let's see what this is about. This is Ozzy from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? They didn't warn us this might happen. Our pod was almost crushed by the Seamoth Bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system, and this grim-looking snake thing is trying to eat through the hull. Come get us already. Signal location uploaded to PDA. On the edge of a cave system, snake-like thing trying to eat through the hull. That doesn't sound good. We should probably go check that out. Alright, so we got the two signals. We got the one that we just got, which is 546 meters away, and then we got 427 meters away. Uh, the damaged sea glide. That's probably to lure you out to get more sea glide fragments if you haven't already found them, but we've already found them. So we're just gonna head out there and see what that's all about. Whoa. What happened here? Integrating new PDA data. And we got the compass. New blueprint acquired. Neat. There's their damaged sea glide. Where's our life pod? Let's get back to base. All right, let's see what we can if we can make that mobile vehicle bay. Cause I would sure like me a sea moth. I find it better to just stay away from the floaters altogether. 
never really predict what they're gonna do. What? So if I just make that wire. Yep. New blueprint acquired. I just need that wiring kit, which I have right in here. Aha! Uh -huh. Pays to think ahead of time. The builder tool is designed to construct habitats capable of withstanding extreme environmental conditions. Yeah, boy. Congratulations, survivor. You have exceeded your weekly exercise quotient by 500%. <laughs> Data indicates that swimming was your favorite activity. <laughs> Be sure to vary your routine for uniform muscle development. <laughs> oh, shut up. start with an X component. I don't want to do a foundation because we don't need it. Dang, we won't even be able to build up a, a hatch to it. Nice try, buddy. Oh my gosh. The reactor will reach a super Oh my gosh. Suit has been added to your blueprint database. Wow. Let's read about the Sky Ray. That was awesome. Herbivore is large. The Sky Ray has a bird like head and feathered wings which enable it to fly. Sky rays are commonly found circling floating structures and rarely venture far out to sea. They will perch on dry land, but are prone to flee on approach. Wings. Although its wings give it some resemblance in silhouette to the waterborne rays of 4546b, analysis shows no greater genetic overlap with those species than the planetary average. In fact, the sky ray appears to have split off the evolutionary tree much earlier than most. Largely seed-based, sky rays have not been observed diving for food, which implies they rely on land-based plants for their survival. Assessment. Presence may indicate nearby dry land. Interesting. What else do we have? Live Prod 3 Crew Log. You really think it'll carry two of us? 
Your regular sea glide tows a mass of 80 kilograms at over 30 kilometers an hour. The power seller rig to this one should double that. You think there's something out there that's faster? Oh, sure. And that's assuming it doesn't overload three meters from the life pod. You're calm about this. I'm seeing the engineering problem. If I stop seeing the maths, I'll be terrified. Hmm. Suit fully protects against the effects of radiation during land, sea, and space exploration. Safely rated up to 400 SV an hour. Cross compatible with all AEP suit functionality. Sleek. The radiation shoot. suit. A necessary precaution in a post mad world. Hmm. Well, that was quite something. <laughs>